Screen veteran Ronaldo Valdez, also known as Ronald James Dulaca Gibbs in real life, has passed away. His son, actor and singer Janu Gibbs, confirmed Valdez's death on Monday, December 18. Gibbs asked his father's supporters to respect their privacy in this grieving moment through a brief statement on his Instagram account. Gibbs' post was filled with supportive messages from fellow celebrities, including Aiko Melendez, Vina Morales, Gerald Napoles, and Rocco Nasino, as seen in the comments. Valdez died at around afternoon of Sunday, December 18 in his home, according to the Quezon City Police District on the same day. He is survived by his wife, Maria Fe Ilagan Gibbs, and his children. The veteran actor, who has been receiving tributes from his talent manager Jamela Santos and Too Good To Be True co-star Catherine Bernardo, is known as one of the most prolific actors in the country with a career that spanned nearly five decades. Aside from Too Good To Be True, among his most popular works to date are Precious Hearts Romances Presents Los Bastardos and Seven Sundays. President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. says the territorial dispute in the South China Sea has increased recently, but the Philippines will continue to push for peace and dialogue among the parties involved. In an interview with Japanese media late Saturday evening, Marcos said the Philippines continues to counsel peace and continue communication between the different countries involved in the territorial dispute. China claims almost all of the sea, but the Permanent Court of Arbitration in 2016 said China's claims had no legal basis. The West Philippine Sea, which is part of the South China Sea within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone, has been the subject of contention between the Philippines and China. On multiple occasions, the Chinese Coast Guard has used water cannons, lasers, and dangerous maneuvers to scare off Philippine vessels within the West Philippine Sea. President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. may sign the 2024 national budget on Wednesday, December 20. In an ambush interview in Tokyo, House Speaker Martin Romualdez says the president may sign the 2024 General Appropriations Act a day after he arrives from Japan. The chief executive is currently attending the 50th Commemorative Association of Southeast Asian Nations Japan Friendship and Cooperation Summit. The House Speaker says printing some necessary documents is still underway. Romualdez is confident Marcos will not veto any provision in the budget bill. Marcos earlier said that he will most probably sign the budget bill before Christmas. Both the House of Representatives and Senate have approved the measure.